Well, the tornado warnings the National Weather Service issued were delayed as much as nine minutes on Saturday evening, including the warning for the winter set tornado. Local 5's Dave Downey has more in Madison County. Yeah, here in Winterset, three days after the EF4 tornado tore through the town, some people got between five and ten minutes of warning. Even though the warning was issued about a half hour in advance of the tornado, some people didn't even hear the warnings until they saw the tornado and heard that distinct train-like sound. But why did that happen? The next thing I know, I thought I'd move my car under under the garage in case it hailed, and then I could I could hear the, the train coming down the road. And that's when I, I knew the tornado was coming. Don Hogue survived the deadly EF4 in his home in Winterset, but it was close. The National Weather Service issued a tornado warning for Madison County, including Winterset, at 4.11 p.m., but the alerts didn't reach the public until nine minutes later at 4.20 p.m. At 4.26, the tornado touched down just north of Maxburg, then it struck Winterset at 4.40. That's an incredible 29-minute lead time, about double the national average of 10 to 15 minutes, according to the NWS. But the question remains, why was there a nine-minute delay? I reached out to the National Weather Service Public Affairs Office in Washington, D.C. I was told the investigation is ongoing and that Local 5 would receive a statement, but no statement has been provided as of this evening. Thanks to the Des Moines National Weather Service Office, more lives were saved than lost on Saturday. The message from Don? is simple. When they say take cover, when they tell you to do that on the, on TV and stuff, you should take cover. In Winterset, Dave Downey, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And we will remind you, this is why we break into coverage, mm. because the more ways you can be informed, and even if it's one person who may be in danger, the more ways people can be informed, the better. And fortunately, that glitch we're hearing about didn't really impact our on-air or online coverage. Y yeah, uh, us meteorologists here at Local 5 and all TV stations have a direct contact with the National Weather Service online, so they told us that, hey, this is not going out properly to everyone, but we are issuing a warning, and we will let you know, so we pass that on on air uh, as the tornadoes were happening. So uh, kudos to the National Weather Service here in Des Moines for uh, doing the best they could in the difficult circumstances. And as Dave mentioned, certainly likely saved some lives in central Iowa on Saturday.